Here are 13 games I'll be playing in 2023 because they're made by women. Child of Light is a platforming role-playing game. It's about a princess who wakes up after dying from a mysterious illness. She must bring back the sun, the moon, and the stars from the queen of the night. The new Tomb Raider's lead writer was a woman, and she was responsible for the new depiction of Laura Croft. She's the reason why Laura Croft is no longer as sexualized, and everybody knows all about Tomb Raider. Portal won Game of the Year Award in 2011. We play as a silent protagonist, Shell, who's forced to undergo a series of tests by malicious AI. That's right up my alley. The designer, Kim Swift, is a big name in the gaming industry, so obviously you should play this game. Literally, it's one of 14 games included in the Museum of Modern Arts collection. Animal Crossing, need I say more? If you didn't know, the director behind the series is Aya, who's also responsible for Splatoon and Wii Sports, but also had a major role in New Leaf and New Horizons. The producer and the game design lean are both women for Earth Light Spacewalk. It's a virtual reality game where you act as astronaut Anna on a spacewalk. Game developer Erin Robinson, who is one most influential woman in tech for four consecutive years, is a developer behind Gravity Ghost, where you play as a little ghost and you fly around a fantasized version of space. Megan Fox, not that Megan Fox, founded the studio Glass Bottom Games, which produced Spartan Fist. You play as Emma Jones, a down and out detective, and she's trying to retrieve the fabled Spartan Fist. Think of Pokemon Go and Tamagotchi. If they had a baby, you would have Mish. It's a video game all about evolving creatures. It's an educational game designed by Philomena Schwab. If you're into adventure and challenges, you'll love this game created by Natalia and her husband, Isaac. It's an indie horror game, and you play as a 10-year-old girl who struggles with mental illness after the murder of her parents that she witnessed. If you like visual novel games, Butterfly Soup is for you. It follows four young queer Asian American girls. And they attend their first year of high school and bond as members of the baseball club. The creator, Brianna Lee, was featured on the Forbes 30 under 30 list for games. Sims, the lead character artist on Sims 4 was a woman. She's gone on to become an art manager and is now an art director at Double Fine Productions. Game designer and producer Robin was the brain behind Journey, an indie adventure game. Celeste was designed, directed, and written by Maddie, a trans female game designer. It's a platform game where you climb a mountain.